think there's air in there. See how it's going up high? Watch how it's going up. Five. Look, look, look at how that's changing. See how that's changing? Yeah. You got non-condensables in there. Look at that. It's almost 600, 600 psi. See how it, see how it's changing up and down, up and down, yeah, up like and a down. Coaster. Not good. I could try to get to let some gas out, bring that down. Look, it's almost 600 pounds. Yeah. That should be steady, pretty steady, because uh, they're supposed to do is pull a good vacuum, get all the air and the non-condensables out, and then do your charge. If the guy didn't do it right, that could be why that's jumping around like that. Let me try taking a little bit out and see what happens. All right. a lot better now. 350. 350 is okay. It's better than 600. Yeah. And it seems pretty stable. See, it's not jumping yeah, it around. It does, yes. 15 degrees superheat. 131 on the suction. That's better. A lot better. It's going to work a lot better now. It's a piston, so we got to go by. Got to go by the superheat. I'm just glad we didn't damage what's up in the attic as far as... That was that was 45 on a subcool. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Man. You got pictures to prove it. Yeah, I always take pictures. We know it's working good. Just dumped out the liquid line right into the tank. Boom. That was easy enough. Gonna get late. Wait for it to stabilize and see what our superheat does there. See, it's down. It's down around 10, which I'm still okay with that. 10, 11. We're okay with. We're okay there. Well, before, forget it. Now, is it still draining Freon? No, I, I already. I, I took. I took a little bit out. Okay. Yeah, and then I then I let it stabilize. So you just bought the house? No, we've had the house since we. I've had the house since 79. We just had the air conditioning installed a year ago. A year ago? A year so, ago. So the guy overcharged it? Yeah. I guess so because I haven't touched it. Yeah, it was way overcharged. It was a closed too. system, so I had nothing to do with that. Man. Yeehaw. My sub cool's a little bit low, but I'm still okay with that. Uh, I'm, 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 I, I like that better than what it was, that's for damn sure. Oh, well, you're right there. And you got the new filter, you got the new filter put in? Yes. It's Goodman. Is that a good company? Yeah, they're all yeah. right. All right, so I want you to get the hose and, and clean this all out and blow out these sections and cl keep this clean okay. with the garden hose. All right. It's not really dirty. It's only a year. It's only a year old. Yeah. But just get but the little dead matter out of there. Get that out of there with the hose and spray this coil down like every every couple. Whenever you cut the grass. Okay. I always say keep, keep it clean. All right. Get yeah. it spray it and then cover that in the winter time with a piece of wood. Just the top. Just to keep the leaves out. Yeah. You know, yeah. if you wrap the whole thing, it's not a good idea because it'll sweat. All right, because I know, you know they sell covers. Yeah, that's My not a good idea. Uses a cover that, not a good so idea. I, I use an old barbecue grill cover. That well, I if you use a cover, just cover it to here. Okay. You leave it open so yeah. it don't sweat. All right. I'll leave it right there. That's it. All right, so I hit it good with the holes. Rinsed it off really good. Yep, she's running. <laughs> 